We got Shanks and Bomb Burgers 2024 on the table here. Um, I picked it up basically as soon as they hit the shelves. I got the text message that they're here and we got them. Somehow. So here they are and we're gonna do a tasting for you now. 2024. Yeah, that works. This year, I don't know. Let's get into well, it. Well, roll the intro. Run the video. <laughs> and pour the shanks for us first unless you want to try the bomb burgers first which no. one do you want to go for first shanks is older let's go shanks that is true now that is legacy. true legacy let's talk about the legacy actually okay i think you want to talk about the shanks <laughs> you want a knife yeah no you know what my fingernails did the chain i'm gonna knife mine so back in what 1753 in the 18th century sometimes shanks distillery was actually made it wasn't always mictors this is all history you all probably know Ooh. That was a nice pop. It's pretty good. All right, give me that sniff. Ooh. <laughs> John Shanks. And then after that, the Bomberger's came to play. Um, so it was Shanks. Then it became the, the Bomberger's Distillery, which is neither here nor there. I don't know when it became Bomberger's. Sometime in the 20th century. I don't know. Sometime in the past. And then it became Mictors. And then so, and now it's Mictors. Yeah. So then they kept barrels back when it was called Shanks. And they use those barrels mm -hmm. to put. <laughs> <laughs> this is 200 year old whiskey. Yeah. In case you didn't know, for a great steal yep, yep. of $150. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to pour well, some whiskey. And enough about the Swiss. Let's get to the gist. I like that. That's pretty good. <laughs> Just pour me up. Ha. Blazer. <laughs> so obviously, these have been sitting for about four hours. Opening up. I'm a, I'm a fan of the sour mashes. He's not so much. No, it's like Mixer Sour Mash, eh, mm -hmm. Ancient Age, eh, the 10 star though. I like that. Yeah. Um, we recently went back to the 2023 Shanks. Um, this is my first time trying the 24, his too. The 2023, however, oh man, this was a special bottle. Yeah, that, that was pretty good. This is what we went back to. I did not bring my 2023 Bomb Burger, but we just had this one recently. Was this one was bottle. really good. This is a special bottle. I was impressed. So I'm very interested to see how it holds up to the 24. Or how the 24 holds up to the 23. Because the 23 for me... 24? 23. It's going to be hard to beat. Shanks wise. What about the 21? I have never tried the 21. I tried the 22. 22. The 23 is way better than the 22. 22 was instantly. okay. Yeah, but yeah, I, I'd have to agree. Ooh. Nose is... It's less of a zippy note than the 23. I don't know why. Zippy is what came to mind on the 23, Shanks. <sighs> Got a little bit in my eye. Let me know if you know what you mean. If you know what I mean by zippy. Ooh, man. That's like... There's a, that's got that nice, like... You know what? Okay, leather, but it's not the dark leather. It's like that light leather. Like, you know, like Epona from Zelda? Remember the light spots? Yeah. The light fur. It's that like if they, color of leather. If they tanned her. Yes. It's a little morbid. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a... Man, it's a little bit more tangy like than the 23. Tangy? Like a uh, like kind of citrusy? I'm getting some orange zest in yeah, there. Yeah, totally. Like it's a little bit... Like more rind. It's more soury than the 23. It's like a sour mash. Yeah, yeah but it's like it, it kind of is more so that way. The 2023 sour mash is like... I wouldn't have guessed it's a sour mash. And it's like sweet, it's bubblegummy, like yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. This is good though. It's a uh, it's light leather, no tobacco really on the nose, but it's very sweet for sure. That sour citrus, grapes, potatoes, turkey, cheese. I'm jumping in. Mhm. Mm One day I'm gonna do this and it's gonna fail. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Here's the deal. Ooh, wait. Whoa. Okay, go ahead. You talk. Sorry. It's kind of moving. It's it's evolving. It is moving. I I like what I get up front. I think the the nose is good. The initial palate's good. Interesting. It's still changing. Mm -hmm. It kind of drops off a little bit for you me. You just want to hear yourself talk way I, too that's quickly. That's all I need. I just want to hear me. <laughs> <laughs> kind of drops off a bit and it's like that that like touch of honey, honey nut Cheerio kind of hangs out there. 
Okay, I get, I get, I get. But, kind of, <laughs> it kind of, but like it, it doesn't like keep dropping off. It gets down to like that that touch of honey, and then like hangs out. Mm -hmm. Like okay. that that finish is lingering, but it's a light, sweet, it's like soft finish. Yeah, it's like a. It's, I mean, it's, it's a low proof though, right? Yeah, it's 91, 93, 96. 91.2. I was right the first time, I should've just stuck with that. That's, but they're sticking with the sour mash more on the 24. It's more sour, it's more, yeah. More of that. Yeah, it's, it's, more, it's a little bit more rich. More traditional yeah. sour mash up front. Yeah. Hmm, that finish isn't bad though. No, it's not. It writes quite a bit for being the proof it is. Yeah, but like it's not confusing me as last year's. This is a sour mash. Yeah, whiskey. You can tell. Yeah, there's right no away. doubt. No, no doubt, in my mind. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is good though. No. Hmm. Mm. Ooh. Mmm. That is. Lovely. The, sec the second run in, I'm getting a little more sour mash. It's definitely sweeter than um, the Mictor sour mash, mm -hmm. like the, their traditional offering. It has like a little Ooh. more honey to it. I'm getting a little bit of um, um, what is that green? Uh, the whole straw. That Alfalfa. Green, that, <laughs> The green straw, where like when we're hiking, when we're backpacking or hiking, and there's those long green, they and taper off to like tannish uh, straws, and you can take it and put it in your mouth. The green uh, oh. flavor. Oh. I know what you're talking about. With this in your mouth, and then mm -hmm. you smell it. Yeah, we used to walk around like we were farmers. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. I like yeah, that. kind of like a little more of that grassy, not herbal, but like yeah, not all, not herbal, like nature. Just a tang of that. Like it's it's a it's a touch of wow. farm strength. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of uh, that's fair. Of uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. God, who are they? Frey Ranch. Frey Ranch. It's like a touch of Frey Ranch. All right, I Ding. have I have a little bit left in here. Maybe I'll pour more if I need to. But this also is going to be a comparison between the Shanks and the Baumbrugers. And I'm going to be honest. Sign me up. I know I'm like more of a Shanks fan because I've had Shanks and and this is a bourbon. But I'm going to be honest for y'all. I think you too. I've never had a Baumbrugers before. Me neither. And I have a 2023 Baumbrugers at home I've never cracked open yet. Sure. I never had anyone to crack it open with. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe I should come over <laughs> <laughs> to the bourbon library. So I like the. Go ahead and talk first. Obviously, the bourbon more than the sour mash. This that, makes that you think of an us. owl. <laughs> what are you... I don't know why. I just that's just what comes to mind when I old, smell this. Old owl, the court of owls. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Batman's worst nightmare. <laughs> so it's 108 proof. So we got a little bump. We this got is... a good bump. Yeah, that's like the sweet spot for me. Like 100 to 110, I think, is that sweet spot where it's, it's hard to make a really bad bourbon. 91.2 proof. Here's the thing. If you can go 91.2 proof and be that good, you have me. Okay, here's the thing. Because you're not relying on, <laughs> on alcohol. Proof. Yeah, yeah, to kind of like support it. But yeah. I, I think it's a fine line. But here's the thing. That's, that's just what Mictors does. Here's, here's the thing, though. Low proof, I get it. No, no, but that's just... Make, they, they're no, they're good, they're good at, at it. it. But they're, we, we can mutually we agree. We can mutually agree. Mictors is just, they're <laughs> just... naturally very good at making low proof whiskeys taste amazing. Which we did go over in another video. Go ahead. Which is amazing. Anyways, continue. You continue. No, you go ahead. I already said my point. I think I made my point. Definitely a bourbon. <laughs> well, <laughs> good one, <laughs> point, Dexter. <laughs> you, you nailed it. Good thing it's not a blind. <laughs> I, I really like that nose. I, f I almost feel like there's more depth to it than the shanks. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like there's I a mean, I mean, straight up. Zip, zippy is the word for shanks, but this is a good nose. This is good. Yeah, this is definitely like the... Straightforward. The, the, Just yeah. boom. It's there. lighter. It's got the citrus. It's... So this is good. It's the higher, sharper notes, but... Yeah, you taste... You can... Not taste. Smell the uh, complexity 
a little bit more so on this one than that. And I think maybe what that is to me at least is like just the darker notes. I feel like mm -hmm. to me darker notes means a little more complex, which obviously isn't necessarily true all the time. So yeah, Baumburgers came after Shanks. We're Robert T. Baumburger. <laughs> And these are actually the original Bomberger's barrels that we're tasting this whiskey <laughs> from. Just bull trap. Let's, let's just like take a sip of the Bomberger's. We've had enough like sitting through our junk. Mm. One thing, it's got like a certain nose, like with certain mead. Just mm. I'm just saying before the taste, certain mead, it has a similar zing to that nose. That uh, no. Anyways, I'm gonna taste it now too. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. God, I love that proof point. Oh my gosh. It's like the right amount to where it's like you get a little zing in a different way than the shanks. But like from the proof, but. Oh, that is solid. It finishes similar, like. You kind of get the whiskey. This is the whiskey, but the tail end is like, boom. Touch of sweet, hangs out. Okay. Which is interesting because of how different the proof points are. A little stronger here. Mm. It's like 17 proof difference. Yeah, it's, a, it's nice. Wow. I like it. Mm. <sighs> Man, I'm a Shanks fan too. A little, a little more. Oh, that nose is so good. That's, um, that's uh, like bakery. It kind of reminds me of certain lower proof old forester notes on the nose. I'm with you. Yeah, that's bakery. Um, it's not the, the Outback Steakhouse uh, black bread. It's mm -hmm. the vanilla white bread. The vanilla. <laughs> not vanilla, but it's the white bread. Yeah, like their sourdough. I with think the sourdough. butter. Sourdough white bread. With the butter, butter yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh man, that is nice. And it's like, then, then they come back when you're done with your steak and you say, would you like dessert? And you actually say yes this time. <laughs> when 99% of the time, mom, you say and, no. mom and dad for you says no. But that one We're time, good. the one time mom and dad look at you and you, you give them the puppy dog eyes and they go, yes, this is the dessert. This is it. That's good. Little waxy. There, there is kind of like that, that plastic, candle wax, plastic-ish waxy note. But yeah. it's not, it's not a bad thing at all. No, I'm not, I'm not knocking that. That works. Mm. It's like a man. It's a lit candle. That's where the wax comes from. It's a, it's With, not just the wax like I said in the past. It's, it's hot it's, wax. It's the, the lit candle, melted wax. Mm -hmm. Totally. No char or anything. Like there's very, mm -hmm. there's no barrel at all. This is special like, though. Both bottles. That's yummy. But this is good. I wish these were like 99 bucks. Totally. Um, but I would pay 120 for both any day. I, I agree. They're definitely both it's special enough to be in that category. Well, absolutely. I know we wish it's 99, but a realistic price point, I would definitely pay 120 for these every year. And we paid MSRP. Yes. You know, we paid what they want right now. We got probably the best deal I've seen all year. Yeah. But what are you going to do? You're not going to find it any cheaper. They're great. I think they're good whiskeys. They're really good, man. You got to wow. like the Michter's profile for sure cuz it's Yeah, you got to like you got to you got to like a distiller that can make a lower proof taste amazing without relying on high proof. And appreciate how much is in this bottle for being the proof that it is. Yeah. Like that's very impressive. And easier to drink a high-end whiskey, so if you're not a, a proof hound. Yeah. Yeah, that's where it's at. Butterscotch, caramel. Chicken. A little bit of light peas. light wax on this one now. Not hot wax like the bomb burgers. And again, that, that grass note, that grass uh, in your mouth after chewing it, the green part. Still, it's still there. Not, lemon, not lemon very grass? rooty. I don't think so. Not lemongrass. I forget what it's called. It's just the straw grass. It's just grass straw. Hmm. This is nice. I, I, I like the shanks, man. It's uh it's it's got that profile I like on the nose. Going back to the This shanks is good. Palette. I think last year's was, was more my speed. It was just more like it was less a classic sour mash, more of like a sweet bourbon-ish, you know. That's fair. That's definitely fair. 
Um, this is good. I think these are... Ah, oh, this is tough. A little less than the bomber. We bombers, recently right? had it. Uh, yeah, th I think the shanks are, are going less lower than the Bomberger, so... I'm cool with that. But I will say, I think 2023 shanks is better. And then 23 Bombergers? I've only had this shanks. Oh, no, I don't I don't know anything about the 23. I haven't opened it yet. Oh, you're saying last year's shanks, last year's shanks is shanks better is, than this It's bomber. better than this shanks. Oh, yeah, I think so. I'm with you. But... I think I'm, mm. I'm with that, too. I think if I were to put... 23 shanks against 24 bomb, 23 shanks wins mm -hmm. for me. But I think I'm with you. I gotta give it to Bomb Burgers on 24. 24 Bomb Burgers. Yeah. You're the bomb. You did it. Don't watch this on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Nate at High Spirits and mm -hmm. um, Dominic. Dominic at High Spirits. They had rows of these. Rows. Like, I was impressed and amazing price. Best I've never price seen I've it seen. With shanks and bomb burgers, a row of them before. I've. It's like you get a bottle at of shanks sec secondary, or at secondary price. At, yeah, price. exactly. Like two fifty, two eighty. Yeah, just at least in my experience in Washington. But there was like five deep of each right next to each other for yep. SRP. This is good overall. Bomb burgers beat shanks this year for sure. We did it, guys. Yeah. I know I'm a sour mash fan, but I got to give it to bomb burgers this time. Hopefully you guys can get one of these if you haven't already. Yeah, if you're if you're looking for just one, get the bomb burgers over yeah. over the shanks. Personally, this year for sure. The 24, and uh, I gotta say, and I said this for the 23 one, but this is a little bit uh, worse for the finish. You know that flat cola note you get? Oh yeah. This has more of that, in not the oh so good way last year's did. 2023 Shanks has that flat cola note, but in a good way, more of like a bubble gum. Like a, the sweet, yeah. Instead of like the the more flat, rubbery, sweet bubble gum, yeah. Cotton mouth. -y. Yes. Yeah. And this has, and this isn't as appealing. I think this one's more rich. Like two liter in the fridge for mm -hmm. three months, flat. Or that's like yeah. McDonald's. Exactly. They forgot to carbonate its syrup. Yeah. It's like this, you're pulling this out of the fridge, you smell it like that's flat, you try to tighten it up thinking it'll help, but it doesn't. No. Still good, still great, but the finish, it's it's at a sour, and I think that's where that flat note comes from. Mm -hmm. I think the bomb burgers wins it for me though on that too. And usually with a finish, I'm really big on finishes. I think that might be my biggest percentage in rating a whiskey, I personally. It's important, it's know, your last impression. Yeah, I know the first impression, the nose is very important, but the nose is also very fantastic on the bomb burgers. Man. And the well, nose, yeah. the nose on Shanks though, gives me that classic wild turkey type vibe too though. Yeah, slightly sour. Yeah. I mean, it's a sour mac. And I think that's that's what, that's why unique. I like this on the nose better than the bomb burgers, but totally that classic sweet, uh, almost syrupy, chocolatey syrup, yeah. tootsie roll kind of nose. Yeah. That's it's nice. Good. It's old. Like it, it smells aged. It mm -hmm. smells old. Like it's just, it's like the freaking the like your grandpa with a shotgun on the front porch in a rocking chair, <laughs> kind of old. Like that. Think of like chocolate resting on the armrest of that chair. That's and, the nose on. And, and the in the warm Kentucky humidity. <laughs> I don't know where I came up with this, man. Just, just <laughs> God, you guys gotta. Every time you hear me talk, just skip ten seconds. God. <laughs> Double tap on your iPhone. Anyways. Anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here. This is the 2024 lineup of Maker's Special Release Shanks and Bomb Burgers. I was happy with this. Me too. Uh, at the price points, uh, I would buy one of each personally, but if you're going to get one, Bomb Burgers wins it for me. Yeah. Yeah. If you see one and you want to hold off at the, the price points a little too much, which it's right there on that line, go Bomb Burgers. Bomb Burgers 2024. Happy day. Thank you for watching. This is Brothers Brett with Everything Whiskey. Please drink responsibly. My name's Harrison. And I am Chris. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please drink responsibly again. I'm going to say that again because <laughs> some people. If some people drink responsibly. Have a good night.